know what the gospel is not. The gospel is not confession or repentance or obedience or worship. The gospel is not church or missions or discipleship. Troy, you're going on missions. You're going, ain't you? But your hope of heaven is not because you're going to go and do this for Jesus, is it? I was a missionary. Do you know there's missionaries that are lost? They go and they, they're going to do Jesus a favor, and they're going to go to, and they're lost. There's preachers. How many of you know today there are all across America people who stood in the pulpits and preached the word of God that have not understood the gospel and are born again? You want to know why? And whom the God of this age has blinded the minds of them who believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel should shine unto them. He's all he's got them to do is just quit looking at Jesus and start looking at yourself. The gospel is not discipleship or baptism. The gospel is not prayer or faith or commitment or surrender. The gospel is not election or predestination, foreknowledge or sovereignty. The gospel is not a sect or a creed or a catechism or a sacrament. The gospel is not a day or a duty, a denomination or a religion. The gospel is not Apollos or Paul, Calvin or Wesley, Luther or Knox. The gospel is not a dispensation, a cessation or a reformation. It is not pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib, a-trib. Do any of you know what that meant? The gospel is not my discipline, self-denial, or my believing or receiving. That is not the gospel. The gospel is the declaration of God's love demonstrated when he offered his only son a sacrifice for my sin, which he did in himself, by himself, for himself, that he would be glorified in redeeming all who would hear and believe. I've got a number of scriptures written down here. The gospel is not salvation. Salvation is what occurs when the gospel is believed. But the gospel is the gospel whether you believe it or not. You see, the gospel is the power of the gospel is in the gospel. Now, I'm preaching the gospel. It is not the passion of persuasion. It is none of those things that save people. It is the gospel where God himself reveals it to you. Like the cat on the cross, moments before he gets ready to step into eternity, he gets it. <laughs> We're getting what we deserve. You didn't do anything wrong. Would you just remember me? Ain't nothing I can do for you. Ain't, God, I can't do nothing for you. We're all going to be dead in a little while. By the way, Jesus died before these two guys died. They saw that. They heard him cry, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. They heard his prayers. They saw him deal with his mother. They saw all of those things. They were there in the darkness. And the father turned his back on the son because of his love for you and me. The gospel is God's doing. I had nothing to do with it. He designed it. He ordained it. And by his spirit reveals it. He reveals that Jesus is the Christ, the only Savior of the world. The gospel is not about taking a good man, mixing in a little religious behavior and making him a better man. That's not the gospel. The gospel is about taking a person who is dead in his trespasses and sin and making him alive. It's about taking a man who is born blind and could not see the light of day and giving him sight. It's about taking a man who was sentenced legitimately to life in prison and kicking those doors open and setting him free. That's what the gospel is about. And that's what happens when the gospel is preached and people believe the gospel because that will never change. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the most cunning, subtle message, the sweetest frame. And there's a lot of them out there. The devil, oh, how he has customized the gospel and made it palatable to man. It's kind of Jesus and I getting together and I get my life cleaned up and then I'll be acceptable. I will still be a wretch when I step in his presence, but I will be in the, I will be in the spirit of God who cleansed me from all my sin. And my hope is not on my performance, but on his performance. I have no other thing to boast in but Christ my Lord. That's what the Apostle Paul, ex-Christian killer, said. God forbid that I should glory except in the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ my Savior.